And I just hate to come on here with like negativity or not like positive vibes, but gee whiz, it is always something. I'm talking about you level up in life, you pay everything off, you staying out of trouble, you know, started a business from nothing, and then all of a sudden you find yourself sort of like at square one, back to square one, trying to figure out what you're going to do next, how your next moves is going to be the best moves for you going forward. And it's getting harder and harder every single day. Um, in my previous videos, when I used to stand outside of my truck and just do voiceovers talking to y'all, I had said to adjust or be adjusted and uh -huh, that was what you guys a year ago or something like that it was about a year ago when I said that and look we have all had to adjust every day is getting harder and harder out here and it's normal to feel like giving up it's normal to feel discouraged and unmotivated it's it's normal it, it, it really is and you know what what I realized about what I've been doing I've, I've realized and that's why I really wanted to just give up and quit and just say screw everything because I've realized that it will never be enough I remember when I used to make two to three hundred dollars a week and I would say, oh, I just want to make $1,000. I just want to make $1,000. And I will be happy with $1,000. Now, I have the opportunity to make two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 in a week. I've done that. And it still wasn't enough. And I've had to come to terms with that. Like, what's wrong with me? What, what's wrong with me? I had to look in the mirror and ask myself, what is wrong with me? Why isn't $5,000 gross, $6,000 gross enough? Why isn't $2,000 or $3,000 enough? Like, why? Why? When did it come to this? Like, when why the world we live in right now two three four five thousand sometimes ain't enough you gotta have more and i was just wondering is that me being greedy or is that me keeping up with society or is that me keeping up with inflation or is it all of the above like it's so much that I want to just get on here and vent and talk about, but I just choose not to. I choose, I choose not to. I just have to smile through these times because at the end of the day, it is a blessing to wake up every single day and just still have things to look forward to at the end of the day. That's a blessing. Waking up healthy. It really is. Waking up every single morning, it's a blessing within itself. Being able to eat every day is a blessing. Being able to take a shower, being able to pray to God, just being able to communicate with others, just all of those things are a blessing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let me, let me, let me clear the air. Let me, let me clear the air because. I was not going to, but you know what? Now that I'm on camera, everything, let me clear the air. Okay. The people that I had shouted out in my other video, those people deserve to get shouted out. I had people or a person feeling some type of way because I didn't shout him out. I don't even know him like that, number one. Number two, I don't have his phone number. And number three, I don't know him like that. I, it's not much that I know about you. So why in the hell would I shout you out for what? 
for what? And then you're going to feel some type of way. I just started talking to you or had only, I could count on one hand how many conversations I've had with you. Why would I shout you out for what? So then the person goes, he feels some type of way. He probably spreaded some rumors or whatever and told different people about he felt some type of way about how to and shout him out, right? So he goes and tells a person that I'm closer with that he feels some type of way. And then that person told him that he was going to come back to me and tell me about him feeling some type of way. Just it's just absolutely ridiculous and it just made me feel like okay i will never again shout nobody out because what in the world like it doesn't even make sense you're feeling some type of way um and you didn't even deserve to get shouted out like it's just ridiculous and this is another reason why i don't have any friends because it's like it's always gonna be drama people are always gonna be fake like it doesn't it it, it just doesn't matter it's always going to be something. This is why I don't have any friends, you guys, because they're always somebody that's going to be jealous of you, low-key hating on you, low-key talking about you to others behind your back. Like, it's just always something. And another thing that I noticed is a lot of people claim that they don't watch my channel, but they do watch my channel. And it's just weird to me. Like, people just... It's just weird vibes. Just weird freaking vibes. And that's why I enjoy staying to myself by any means necessary. Because people do not have good intentions. They just don't. They don't. They don't. Especially if they're not where you're at in life. Or they've been more privileged than you. Where you started off with nothing but yet they still feel some type of way that you're where you're at and i'm where i'm at because god wants me to be where i'm at that's why you guys see that price that price says five dollars and 32 cents per gallon yes y'all are seeing that right i'll pull out my iphone right my iPhone, pull out the calculator. And when I do the math, my truck takes around 180 gallons. So if we do 532 times 180 gallons, that's $957.60. So to fuel up my tank, it's almost a thousand dollars compared to what it usually takes to fill up uh, anywhere from four hundred and fifty dollars to six hundred dollars on the high end on the high high end but usually the four hundreds is what it usually takes to fill up my pita bill so that is a huge jump you guys from let's just say 500 all the way to almost a thousand that's double and people don't understand that rates have not been the way they should be for these fuel prices like it needs to match excuse me oh excuse me but it needs to be similar so if you're hauling freight for three dollars and fifty cents and fuel is five dollars and thirty two cents and you're only getting five miles to the gallon the math always has to add up so and in this case it's not adding up i have to work harder to make more of a profit every single week so work harder parts is on back order parts is high fuel is high rates have not matched the fuel what are you supposed to do what are you supposed to do honestly what do they want us to do you can park your truck you can shut down your company you can park your truck and go jump in somebody else's truck and drive their truck people are not 
going to park trucks. Company drivers are not parking the truck. Lease drivers are not parking the truck. Some owner operators will park their truck. And people who just got into trucking that got high truck notes or not even just even if they have a truck note they're not parking the truck and if they have a trailer no as well uh, come on how are they parking the truck and the trailer what what with truck and trailer notes how somebody explain it to me how now i'm blessed to where i just finished paying off all of my equipment and buying a second truck so as you guys can see so i'm blessed to where i can park my equipment but everybody is not in that situation so me personally and people got bills on top of that medical bills student loan bills freaking credit card bills freaking food bills children just a bunch of life 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 so how is that everybody's gonna park the trucks for one whole week and blah 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 i don't see that happening lord bless all the truck drivers out there truck drivers are not parking the equipment especially if they don't own the equipment come on who's parking the equipment and they don't own the equipment who who you couldn't pay half of the drivers out here to park the equipment. People just need to stop with that. Please stop with the, y'all need to park this and park that. Because the majority is not going to do it at all whatsoever. Fuel will have to be at freaking $15, $20 a gallon. And maybe then people will start parking. No. Matter of fact, people are just going to go out of business. <laughs> not funny but i love you guys so 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 much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 